In this video, I'll show you how to reference your static meshes in a single blueprint using a drop-down box, just like this one. First, you'll need a couple static meshes in your project. Um, for this video, I'm just going to use the starter content that comes with every new Unreal Engine project. I'll go to the props folder and just use, let's see, I'll use the chair, couch, and table. The first thing we need to do is create an enumeration. This will represent the names of the meshes in the blueprint. So we'll just right click, go to blueprints and do enumeration. And give that a name like E underscore meshes or something a little more descriptive. Double click and you'll get this window. And since I only picked three meshes from the props folder, all I need are three values. Now, if you have five, you want five meshes or five values. And for each one, name them according to the order in which you're going to pick them. So I'll do chair, couch, and table. And that's all you need to do for the enumerator. We'll save that and close this window. And next, we'll make a blueprint object. So right click, do blueprint class, and pick actor. Give it a name. I'll do BP underscore meshes. Double click and you'll get the blueprint window. Since we're using this blueprint to place meshes in the editor, we're not going to use the event graph. We're only going to use the construction graph. The first thing we want to do is add a static mesh component to hold those meshes. So we'll do add component static mesh. You can name it whatever you like. Set the mobility to whatever you like as well, but you can also override it once the blueprint is placed in the level. Since we're placing small props, I'll keep mine at movable. Let's add a local variable that will hold the references to the meshes we want to use. We'll call this static meshes. The variable type is going to be a static mesh reference, but since we're going to be holding more than one, we need to make it an array. And I have three meshes to choose. You might have more. So for the first one, uh, I'll choose my chair. Second one was my couch. The third one was my table. It's important that this list matches the same list as you have in your enumerator. So if it's chair, couch, table in my enumerator, make sure that we have chair, couch, table in our static mesh list. Now make a public variable. We'll name it mesh choice. This is going to be a reference to the enumeration. So under variable type, we'll turn off array. We'll just search for our enumeration that we made earlier. So in this case, it was E underscore meshes. Make sure it's editable. We're going to change this in a level. And now if we compile, we'll see now we have the drop down box. Let's drag a reference to mesh choice in the construction graph. And we'll do the same with static meshes. For construction script, we'll just drag off a new node and we're going to set static mesh. And here it is already set up for us. Set static mesh for the meshes component and it's going to need a new mesh before we plug something in there we have to do a little bit of setup here we're going to grab or get a value from the array and it's looking for an integer value so it's going to get this integer value from this array it's going to get this element but to do that we need to get it from the enumeration now the enumeration is not an integer so we need to convert it to one. So we need to convert to int from byte. And then drag that value into the get node, and then drag the result into new mesh. We'll compile, and that's it. That's all you need to do. So we close that. We'll drag our BP meshes into the scene. Now we have the chair, couch, table. And if you wanted to change the mobility, just select the meshes component here in the list, 
you can change it to what you like.